Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA Omniverse keynote speech that Jensen delivered today. Now, the speech is like, an, I think, an hour to two hours long, but I found CNET highlights, just pretty much highlighting the things that I was mostly interested about. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, because I've been getting a lot of questions about this, because I, you know, as you all know, in the channel, I started uploading Omniverse stuff like last year when it was first announced, and people are asking me why. And they kind of think I'm crazy because it's pretty bare minimum. But whenever they released this last year, I saw the potential, especially in the rendering aspect, as far as path tracing goes, I was just blown away by the capability, even for an early beta phase of this software Omniverse platform. I was already blown away by that. With that being said, let's go ahead and check this out and we'll talk about it a little bit more here. So let me go ahead and turn this on right now. I am recording and let's press play. Six ML models will predict the climate. Let's talk about Omniverse. The internet changed everything. It's surely an understatement. We are always connected now. The internet is essentially a digital overlay on the world. The overlay is largely 2D information, text, voice, images, video. But that's about to change. We now have the technology to create new 3D virtual worlds or model our physical world. These virtual worlds will obey the laws of physics, or not. There can be AI or friends with you. We will jump from one world to another, like we do on the web with hypertext. This new world will be much larger than the physical world. We will buy and own 3D things, like we buy 2D songs and books today. We will buy, own, sell homes, furniture, cars, luxury goods, and art in this world. Creators will make more things in virtual worlds than they do in the physical world. We built Omniverse for builders of these virtual worlds. Some worlds will be built for gathering really and games, but a great many will be built by scientists, creators, and companies. Virtual worlds will crop up like websites today. Omniverse is very different than a game engine. Omniverse is designed to be data center scale and hopefully someday planetary scale. The portal of Omniverse this is, just is me USD, Jensen don't age universal at all. scene description. <laughs> Essentially, a digital wormhole that connects people and computers to Omniverse. And for one Omniverse world to connect to another. USD is to Omniverse what HTML is to websites. There it is. Omniverse is futuristic. Omniverse can connect design worlds. Substance. Things created in the Adobe world can be connected to those in the Autodesk world through Omniverse enabling designers to collaborate in a shared space. Changes by a designer in one world are updated for all connected designers, essentially like a cloud shared document for 3D design. Omniverse will revolutionize how the 40 million 3D designers in the world collaborate. Companies can build virtual Crazy. factories and operate them with virtual robots in Omniverse. The virtual factories and robots are the digital twins of their physical replica. The physical version is the replica of the digital, since they're produced from the digital original. <laughs> Omniverse digital twins are where we will design, train, and continuously monitor robotics factories and buildings, warehouses, and cars of the future. Let me show you some of the fundamental technologies that make Omniverse possible. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of skip this part because this is just kind of like already uh, we've already seen this from like past examples pretty much just showing you the rendering and stuff like that you want to check these out go ahead and check it out and on their actual video because it's a little bit more high res there's already 1080 but it's still really blurry all right so um let's go ahead and start right here we are releasing a big update to omniverse today with some exciting new features showroom an omniverse app for demos and samples that showcases core omniverse technology graphics, physics, materials, and AI. Farm, a systems layer that orchestrates the processing of batch jobs across multiple systems, workstations, servers, bare metal, or virtualized. Farm can be used for batch rendering, synthetic data generation for AI, or distributed computing. Omniverse AR streams graphics to phones or AR glasses. Omniverse VR is the world's first full-frame interactive ray-traced VR. Let me go ahead and go back. Okay, so this farm right here, I'm already testing this right now. I was playing around with it. But basically what this is, if you're familiar with farm rendering, so in theory, I should be able to take my machine right now with the RTX 3090, and I should be able to use my laptop to help render 
the same scene that I'm rendering in my main computer using this farm right here. So you can already see the benefits of that. That means if you have multiple laptops or computers that are able or capable of rendering and helping, you can now set that up. And I am gonna be posting a video about this whenever I get it working, okay? So let's go. There's VR, ray traced VR. Since launch last year, Omniverse has been downloaded 70,000 times by designers in 500 companies. Along with so, us, the community, companies, tool providers are building Omniverse connectors. There are 14 available now and 15 more coming soon. Bentley announced that I... Okay, so this is all Bentley iTwin stuff. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, again, digital twin, you build it digitally and then you build it in, in the physical space. That's pretty cool. And it just kind of showcases it here. So here we go again, the car stuff. And Each of their environments to help determine how to place and Ericsson built some Omniverse extension, enabling them to integrate radio propagation data and leverage Omni. I mean, if you look at this left and right, can you even tell the difference at that point? This is insanity. This is the right one is Omniverse is fake and this is real. Versus RTX accelerated ray tracing to quickly visualize and calculate the quality of the signal. All right, so that's pretty much it. And let me go back to the connectors. So one of the things that I get comments about whenever an, I upload like a video regarding Omniverse and when I, cause really my point is I'm trying to create movies inside the Omniverse creator machinima. And one of the things that I get a lot is, hey, you really don't have all the tools. That's true right now. Like you're pretty limited in the actual Omniverse itself. But as you can see on this page right here, a lot of people are creating connectors to be plugged into um, to the Omniverse. So, I mean, some of these guys are 3DS Max, Character Creator, Blender. I mean, these are amazing softwares that are creating connectors so they can be plugged in to the Omniverse. So even though right now, Omniverse, maybe even forever, it will have limited animation tools. At least these connectors are going to help you. So Blender is free, okay? So just like that, you can now animate cameras and plug it in because it has a USD export, which I'm gonna make videos about later on. You got Character Creator and you have iClone here as well. You got Marvelous. I mean, these are the top softwares out there. So even though it might be lacking right now, you have all these connectors to help you um, create something in there, if that makes any sense. So I know it's just been pretty metaverse heavy right now, and I'm going to be hosting a live stream on the 11th, 2 p.m. Pacific time to talk about the whole metaverse thing, because again, I'm getting a lot of questions about the metaverse and stuff like that. So what I'm going to talk about and discuss with you all if you join is what I think what the metaverse is, because so far right now, officially, uh, NVIDIA released the Omniverse like last year, like I said, so they're already working on this thing. And then Facebook just changed their name to Meta. And then Microsoft now apparently has their own metaverse as well. So now you have all these companies creating their own metaverses. And I just want to talk about the pros and cons of this, really. I think it's going to be a really cool discussion. And I'll give you my thoughts and hopefully y'all can chat with me and we can talk about, I can find out what you think about this whole metaverse thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, clearly, I know a lot of people still think that NVIDIA only makes GPU cards. That is clearly not the case here. And this, this is just a small example of what NVIDIA is doing.